As you drag and drop shapes in Gliffy, most of them are black and white by default. The same goes for connectors. They're just a solid line with a consistent stroke. When it comes to making a professional looking diagram, like something you might want to share in a presentation or you know you're going to reference every day, adding colors can help. Here, I'm working on a basic flowchart of which dessert should you cook, and it's based on recipes from New York Times Cooking. More specifically, these are chocolate recipes, as you can see from the first step in the flowchart here. This diagram has a lot of shapes. You can see down here where I've added in a bunch of different recipes. And stylizing each of these shapes individually would take a long time. The fastest way for me to quickly restyle it would be to use a glyphy feature called Diagram Themes. That's the artist palette in the toolbar right here. When I click this, it opens a set of options to choose from. Each of these have their own line style and colors, and you can hover to see a preview of what that diagram might look like. I'm going to pick this one. It has a kind of chocolatey vibe to it. And I'll click, let the tool do its work, and it will go in and apply that updated style. Now, whenever I drag and drop shapes into the diagram, they will immediately fit this style, which is a huge time saver. So when I look at this theme, I see a few things I'd like to change to make it look a little cleaner and create some visual emphasis that helps the reader move from one thing to the next. First, I want them to see where they should start in this diagram. So I'm going to change the color up here. Instead of having it be the same color as everything else, I'm actually going to go a little bit darker just to help it stand out. Remember that as you edit the style of your diagrams, you need to try to not go overboard. Use a standout color to draw the viewer's eyes to a key topic or a focal point in your diagram. I like to work with just two colors, and you can see your most recently used colors here. Sometimes I'll do a lighter and a darker shade, so I might consider this one color and then use maybe these two blues. But in general, a tighter color palette will keep things under control and make it so that your viewer can easily understand where they're supposed to be looking and follow the flow of a flow chart. Same goes for your line types and your text types. I would try really hard not to get in here with a bunch of different line styles or hop types. The more consistent you can be, the clearer your diagram will be for viewers. So as long as you're using colors and styles to make the most important parts of your diagram stand out, you're on the right track. Remember that you can save time with diagram themes and then modify it as you go.